We've been working with the Pensions Advisory Service to raise awareness about pension scams through tips for customers about how to protect your pension. That includes things like what are the warning signs, what are the risks and dangers, and what you can do to be vigilant and um, avoid becoming a target. The industry's been doing a number of things to combat pension scams, including research on schemes before making a transfer and blocking transfers where that's the right thing to do, contributing to an industry code of good practice, helping customers understand the risks, and working with government and regulators reporting suspicious transfers. And we want to work more closely with government so that we can share intelligence about the kind of things that our members are seeing. We welcome the work that government's done to date to combat scams, including closing some schemes down and preventing new ones from starting. But we think more needs to be done. Providers need clarity on when they can block a transfer and legal protection when they do. And we also need to see better regulation of the type of schemes that are uh, used for this kind of activity. Pension flexibility could bring new risks in terms of pension scams as more people have access to cash lump sums and look for new ways to take retirement income. So the industry and government and regulators and customers will need to stay alert to the risks.